Hey guys, it's Dr. Kubin. Um, please excuse my voice right now. Um, a, a nasty virus has decided to come and play with me all weekend. And so, yeah, it's not pretty. Um, I wanted to um, talk to you guys a little bit about a question that came up regarding the course development um, assignment, particularly the actual um, teaching assignment piece of it. I know that most of you, I think all of you, are actually also taking um, Nurse 5112 right now. I think that's the right course number. Um, it's the Current Trends course. And in that course, you have to um, make a simulation assignment. And so the question has come up as to whether or not you can use that assignment for this course development assignment also. So the answer to that question is yes, but... So the but is this, you can't just copy and paste the same assignment into both courses. Um, so if you want to use that simulation assignment in this course also, you can do that, but you have to tweak it a little bit. So maybe you have different course objectives, I mean different assignment objectives, and a different way that you are using that simulation. So for example, let's say that you are creating a medication administration simulation. So for one course, you have them actually administering the medications um, and your uh, objectives are that they are administering meds safely. And so in the other course, you are going to maybe focus on medication teaching. So maybe your objectives focus on the teaching that they do with the medications and maybe you, um, maybe you're focusing on a patient whose en English is their second language and so you utilize, um, um, interpreter, medical interpreter services and you're focusing on the communication that's happening with that whole piece and whether or not they're using the interpreters safely um, whether they're teaching the correct information, whether the patients are understanding, that kind of thing. Um, so that might be a way. Maybe you're teaching about diabetes, and so in one setting you're using pediatrics and in one you're using adults. Or you're focusing on dehydration um, in one setting and maybe hyponatremia in another setting or something like that. So I hope that gives you some ways, some thoughts about how you can use the same simulation but you tweak it so that it works in both um, settings and saves you a little bit of work you're not totally recreating the wheel just reshaping it um, if you have further questions please feel free to reach out to me or dr wilson um, and we can give you some more guidance on that um, and happy fourth of july